area is um, palm nuts or palm tree. Yeah, plantations. They grow a lot of palm trees in these areas. And before the introduction of cocoa, before the introduction of cocoa by Tete Kwashi, it was the palm tree or the palm fruit. That was our commercial export before the introduction of cocoa. And actually, the country Malaysia took the uh, the palm seed from Ghana. Yes, from Ghana. It's, they took it from Ghana, and now they are, they are now the world number one producer of the palm fruit, but they took it from here. Well, so we also took the Congo from Fernando Po, Equatorial Guinea, and, and we become world number one. And, <laughs> So these are all farming communities. Like I, I was explaining to you yesterday, these are not shanty houses. They are all family houses, and these are, some are mud houses, and some are block houses. And this, typically, we will call rural Ghana. Or village. Now, very soon we're going to see the the rubber plantation, and this plantation, or uh, the products of the rubber tree, is what we are driving on because that is what they use to make the car tires are made from the rubber tree. So Mbem is here. Mbem simply means within the palm trees. That is the name of this village. So you can see that the crochet both end of the street, left and right. So the chief the chief and that's the chief. Asamwa. So that's the chief that funeral is going to be performed. And he died last year. And they are now going to perform the funeral. Even he is lucky to be buried early. He is very, very lucky that he's been, he died just last year and he's been buried this year. Because some takes four years, five years, and some take even, because if they don't have your successor that will perform your funeral, you cannot be buried. So you pray that there's no dispute between the families. If there's dispute, then you'll be in the mob. For who knows? So this chief is lucky to have died last year and then deserving his funeral being performed this year. So, wow. yeah, so if you don't have your successor, you cannot, your funeral will not be performed. So it is your successor that performed your funeral. Now, this town, every, no relative is to bury their dead until the final funeral rite is performed for the chief. So this week, no other burial except the chief burial. Yeah. That is beautiful. This is nice and tropical. So we're still coming up on the rubber plantation, right? So trying to get a glimpse of it. It's a lot of times you're driving the, by, all you see is trees and you're not sure what it's what. To the left, it's a thick farm. It's a thick farm. Now the thick farm with those big flowers, these are all thick. They are used, or the government camp is a plantation. So it's woodlot where he, they intentionally grow 
this stick for commercial purposes. So those are all thick for commercial purposes. And thick trees are very strong and they are used for transmitting electricity. So these poles are all thick. The poles that carry the cables, they are thick. And sometimes they are so hard and they, have, they can resist fire. in front of the bus. Soccer, yes. And that's the fever. That's the game of the boys. And now the girls also play. We have the women's soccer team. The Black Queens. The Black awesome. Queens, that's what's up. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> that's what's up. And that is the national team, right? Yes, the that's a the female national team of Ghana, the Black Queens. Black While the males are the Black Stars. You go, family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go. We are going to see the raw material that is used to manufacture car ties. Car ties. Now, when you get out of this, when you out of this region, out of this region, you go to the western region. Dr. Kwame Nkrumah actually got a vast plantation at an area or a town called Bonza to plant these trees to manufacture ties, car ties. So we have the Boza tie factory. Now it's non-existent, but we still have a vast rubber plantations in the western region controlled by the Grill, Ghana Rubber Estate Limited. So, so let's go are, see so a small trees. plantation of that's for an individual who is growing this plantation here, rubber tree plantation. So let's go have a look and I'll tell you more about how they get the sap. <laughs> 